energy for right. Obed Sullivan here as round five begins. Harold Letterman, through four rounds, how do you see the fight? Well, Larry, I still got it a shot out. Let him go. 40 to 36, four rounds to nothing. I seen Rachman. No In the first round, I thought no he out jabbed him, and after Good. that, I think he's been out fighting him. I mean, he takes him inside, and he's landing the cleaner, harder shots. And really, that's the way I'm seeing it so far. I think Ben Sullivan's got to do a heck of a lot more to win this fight. I have it three rounds to one for Rachman. Sullivan lands his left hook again. Rockman busts him in the face with a right hand and looks to score again over the top. Rockman has been the busier fighter, as Harold pointed out. He's landed more power shots. Both fighters at times have established their jabs and work behind them, but in those moments when they're at close quarters and so much of the fight has been fought there, Rockman, with his greater strength, has been able to take advantage of Sullivan. And what's happening here with Sullivan, the reason he's, be he's being hit by Rockman is the fact that he stops, he does nothing. And in the meantime, Rockman's throwing punches, throwing his right hand, throwing his left jab. See some swelling around the left eye of Rockman, though? It's very difficult to see it from here, Jim. I think it is swelling just a little bit. Come on, no holding. Keep it clean here. Come on, both you guys. Sullivan is attempting to drop a, just one left hook, which is really uh, a sign of inexperience. You never throw a left hook. Everything is thrown off the left jab. Unless you're close, I should say. Guys, you're holding. You're holding. Great. Or unless you're countering against somebody who's left his right hand out there for you. True. Or unless you're Roy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> That's an exception. <laughs> Body shots traded at close range. Kelly separates them. You begin to see the slight swelling over the left eye of Hasim Rahman. Seconds left in round number five. And again, we remind you, it's a 12-round bout. As Wayne Kelly separated them there, Sullivan was looking obediently at cornerman McGregor. McGregor told him to keep working with the jab. Okay, you're looking better. Okay, look at me. This guy has nothing for you. At this point, you know what's up you? If you're not punching enough, that just relax and punch off your elbows and hips. Keep your knees down and your chin in your chin and zip. You're throwing one and stopping. Touch with one, zip the second one. Touch him on top and zip underneath. Touch him on top and zip the uppercut. He's there for the up. Okay. You gotta go to work. You saying okay, but you're not doing it. Go to work with that left hand and step up with it. You got me? Good job. Good job. Hey, right here. Okay. Let's go to work. Okay. Come on, chat. Little New York flavor. Brooklyn's own Spike Lee in the house. No Knicks here tonight. I wonder if Spike went on the road to Charlotte for the opener last night. Sullivan hopping Rockman's head back with the jab. No holding. That's the way. I mean, again, both guys have very stiff left jabs. In fact, Sullivan's left jab is starting to uh, make the, uh, this is the right eye. It's the left eye. The left eye of Rockman, Rockman, yeah. Start to swell now. Rockman's vision, of course, at the distance from which they've been fighting for most of the fight, he doesn't have to see. He can feel his opponent. If they're close enough, Jeff. Punch it. Right there. Good right hand by Rockman. Overhand right by Rockman, and Sullivan wobbled for the second time in the fight. Now, this is when experience comes in. When you hurt your man, you should take the time and set your, set your man up and not go wild and throw a lot of unnecessary punches. 
that's what, what Kerner and Brooks are looking for. What Rockman should be doing now is, is working the body, full of body shots, bring those hands down, then go to the head. I don't understand why he's getting into these clinches because he seems to be flinging himself into them. Right here. Why? Why? If he hits him so so uh, well from outside, why does he want to be inside? It, you know, sometimes this is when inexperience becomes a factor. Larry. Let him go. Obed, let him go. Let him go, Obed. Uh, break. Kelly telling Obed to let him go. Rockman had his arm wrapped around the outside of uh, Sullivan's. It wasn't that easy for Sullivan to get away. Slow spot in the fight follows the powerful overhand right by Rockman, which seemed to have done some damage. Sullivan bought enough time to get his wits back about it. What's happening stop here with Rockman? Him, He's a little arm worried because he missed quite a few punches. Yeah, you don't get his arm weary from the ones you land, right? Let him go. Exactly. It's the ones you miss that really take a lot from you. Right. Another right hand landed inside for Rockman. On the jaw of Sullivan. Sullivan landed a little left hook of his own. Seems to me the referee isn't breaking them up quickly enough. Take care of the take, please. Okay, good job. Good job. Relax, 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 relax. You're pulling, you're pulling back and you're not punching. Okay. And you're pulling back with what your head up, right? Uh -huh. So you're getting hit. Stay to the side of him. Look it. You're gonna let this guy wear you down by wrestling and putting his weight on you. What he's doing is he's grabbing you, deep breaths, and he's putting his weight on you. Still to come tonight, the former David Izanrete, now David Izan, formerly of Nigeria, formerly of Paris, France, now fighting out of the Roy Jones camp in Pensacola, Florida. His opponent, New York's own Lou Savarese, the sushi-eating heavyweight who almost beat George Foreman earlier this year. That'll be the second of our two main events tonight on Boxing After Dark from Harlan's legendary Apollo Theater. Say a little bit more speed on it. Speed on Come on. Obed Sullivan hasn't been busy enough. Uh, CompuBox numbers averaging only 35 punches per round, as opposed to Rockman, who's throwing closer to 60 punches per round. Halfway through the bout, as round seven begins, and still Harold Letterman has it as a whitewash every round for Hasim Rockman. Obed, watch the hole, man, okay? Right hand lands for Sullivan over the top. I would think there would be more uppercuts coming from Sullivan to raise the head. Thank you, To raise the head up. As a bad cut has sprung from Sullivan's left eye, it might have been caused by an accidental butt inside and all during all that mauling. Yeah, as he pulled away, Sullivan was telling referee Wayne Kelly he butted me. Right. Back. Trying to make clear to Kelly that the cut is the result of an accidental butt. What Sullivan has to do now that is cut, he can't get desperate, he can't get angry. He has to stay composed and try to keep the blood out of his eye. Well, as he would tell you, he's a Marine. Composure is his game. Well, it's needed right now. What's your head on that? San Francisco Giants hat in the background is being worn by John McEnroe. McEnroe on the right side of your screen there, enjoying the heavyweight action behind artist Leroy Neiman. When, when a fighter is cut, the last thing he should do is fight inside. He should be on the outside. Hooked by Sullivan as Rockman steps in. Again, they engage at close range. Sullivan's going to have to go back to pumping the jab if he's going to have any chance of keeping Rockman off of him. In, in many of the 
fights I've seen Rockman in, and I haven't seen a whole lot, he's been more of a brawler. And here you see him, he starts out jabbing, uh, trying to be a boxer puncher, and then he comes in and does this. He's in transition from one style to another. And I have not seen that much of Rockman either, Larry, and I th he looks pretty impressive here, though. Um, he's throwing more punches. He's using his jab a lot more. And he's taking his time, which is very important. And Sullivan is ranked by some of the boxing organizations. Generally regarded as the top ten fighter in the division is Obed Sullivan. Right now, Hasim Rockman is having his way with him. The blood coming from the cut above Sullivan's eye, obviously bothering Obed, and now cut man Jimmy Glenn will go to work in Sullivan's that corner to try to keep his man in the fight. Relax, relax. Listen to me, relax. Oh, man.